up, Derek? Hey, babe, you want to come over tonight? Uh, no, I'm just gonna stay in. I'm feeling kind of sick. <laughs> God, Lauren, I haven't seen you all week. Yeah, well... Oh, it's, it's all right. I have to get up early anyway. What for? It's top secret. Uh, you'd probably just get bored or something. You know, you wouldn't understand. You wouldn't understand. It's really scientific stuff. So, you get yourself some rest, and... And I'll call you tomorrow, all right? It's behavioral analysis time! For psychology! Okay, here we are on campus. The time is noon 05 p.m. and this is my video documentation for Professor Monroe's behavioral analysis class. Today, I will be studying the social phenomenon known as the walk of shame. This phenomenon is prevalent in, though not exclusive to, many college campuses. Ah, we have our first subject, a young female. Her manner of dress suggests she stayed overnight at that particular dorm. And here begins the aforementioned walk of shame. Note the difficulty in locomotion. This would indicate an apparent difficulty in motor skills. Is that thing on? No, absolutely not. Douche. The lone female. The walk of shame is never more clearly, more unfortunately manifested than this. Lauren? Lauren? Lady Gaga concert is tomorrow, so... So you you're sick! Huh? I can't believe this. Derek, I'm sorry. I should have pulled and broken up with you before. I just didn't know how to bring it up. So you just go ahead and cheat on me with this chimpanzee? Tom's not a chimpanzee. He's a great guy, and I have fun with when I'm with him. When I'm with you, I feel like I'm under a microscope. The way you look down on everyone... Oh, just don't hate me because I'm... Goodbye, so Derek! The lone male, apparently spurned by his mate, embarks on a long, mournful trek. A variant of the walk of shame phenomenon, this is commonly known as the March of Despair.